what is good taurus this is evolving wisdom and yes i'm here and i'm still evolving what is good taurus i am here to do you guys january beginning of the month read you guys stay tuned for the mid preview read the extended okay that will be coming up very soon you guys i really hope you guys are enjoying your january okay i know it's bullshit going on but Nevertheless, you guys, it will still continue to go on through the rest of 2021. It will get worse, okay? And the next year, the following year or two, it will still be some a lot of breaking down of a lot of the boo-boo, okay? The bullshit, okay? But, you know, we're not going to get all up into that at the moment. It's a lot to say, but um, I really do hope you guys are really... You know staying focused on you and your goals and your family goals here okay now y'all know y'all need to like share and subscribe don't leave here without doing so let's see what is going on with my tours where my tours is need to go you guys please like share and subscribe that does help my channel out okay also you guys i i really appreciate all of you who donate or slash leave a tip here if you guys want to continue to do that that information is in my comment section i mean not in my comment but in my description box and it's also on my channel i got it pinned somewhere okay but let's see what's going on here you guys may be going through a little strife here i do pick up some relationship issues here i do feel like someone is intervening and in, or someone has intervened in your relationship here or is doing something around um a relationship of yours here there may be some strife with family or, or just uh, a relationship coming in here okay some battle when it seems like it's going on here. Struggle here. Maybe you need, it's something that you seem like you need to look at here or pay attention to here. Really, really evaluate here, okay? Yeah, there's something, there's something, there's a need to want, really go. And some of you guys may be seem like struggling here, okay? Even though I'm picking up some relationship, I feel like some of you guys may be struggling around finances here or balancing out your finances here. There's a little bit of um, fear around it here. There is abundance coming towards you, but there's maybe something you guys need to switch or change around in your life here or new ideals that's coming in that you guys need to implement here and instead of being fearful with it here let's see what's going on with my what are my tourists need to know here okay yeah some of you guys would just want to change a in in um career some of you guys are bored or just looking for something new here okay needing strength here I do feel a level of you guys walking away from old um, ties, old um, belief systems that's coming in here. A new beginning is coming towards you guys here. Some of you are like, a, some of you guys have are involved in a relationship or a new relationship has come in and you want a new beginning with this energy here. But there is some devil like energy around this relationship, however a relationship looks like in your life currently right now. Or something, it's also going to be something that's coming in. Um, I'm also picking up the, um, for you guys here that's a warning here okay a lot of victory around financial um abundance or just on um, whatever you guys are doing financially to gain here to gain uh, money a lot of abundance coming in it's maybe someone watching you and watching your success wanting that success to hear someone from the past energy is coming up here someone way way from the motherfucking past here they don't want just you back they want you because of your glow up they want you because of what you're doing financially and what that and want a piece it's like a bum. This is some bum ass person here. You guys were tied to in the past or whatever. Somebody who spends all their time watching you, seeing how you growing and you you bossing up or whatever. And now they want that here. Someone has been trying to get readings or do readings on you to see what's going on in your life here. And they know the manif manifestation that's coming towards you, that boss shit that's coming towards you here. And they bum ass. And I say bum, this could be a female, this could be a male. It's sitting here watching you here okay i do feel like there is a relationship here also coming in towards some of you guys here that is going to change your life here in a whole different way um 
something that's going to not just mirror you guys, but it's going to hit deep. There's some deep seated, um, some deep, deep seated childhood issues here that this relationship is going to change and bring up out of you and also and heal that energy around um, within you here. There's some healing childhood healing that needs to be done by a lot of my Tauruses here. OK, are you ready for a new lover to enter your life? Spark an old flame or get revenge on someone who took your love away. However love looks to you, let Evolving Wisdom take care of it. For more information, go to EvolvingWisdom5.com. I feel like this is not just for my females. I feel like this is some masculine energy too. Some of you guys may have been doing a lot of healing work or trying to um, understand more about what you need to be doing as, for, as far as healing goes here. And I feel like I'm picking up a little more of the masculine side here that is trying to do the healing here. Because Lord knows a lot of our men need to be doing this type of work. God damn. Because we women, we tired. We tired of being um, y'all therapists, okay? It is time for you guys to either pay somebody to do that shit for y'all or y'all do it yourself. And I ain't got time for that shit no more, okay? Back to the reading. But there's some death like energy coming in. There's some endings here. And right? I feel like this is you ending toxic patterns here. However, that looks in your life here, especially as far as relationships. And relationships does not always mean romantically here. You may just be tired of fuck friends coming in your life here who ain't got shit to do. Ain't got shit, nothing going for themselves. Not trying to evolve and they become envious of you because you on your shit or you trying to be up on your shit here. There's a lot of... Um, completion coming in here matriarchy type of um, energy here somebody on a shit somebody is well well balanced someone who knows how to see in the spiritual realm and in this realm here okay i really feel like this is some big mama energy i always look at the matriarch um matriarch is is, is is a big mama energy here like everybody goes to this person for their wisdom and usually the female um the oldest female in um, your family is usually called, you know, Big Mom or the Matriarch. Um, she, she's the one that has the wisdom. She knows. She can, can foresee some things. And I feel like this is the energy you're stepping in here. Everybody wants to sit around your table, especially motherfuckers in the past here, looking and lur lurking, trying to see what they can... I don't know what the fuck they trying to do here. Because I don't feel the energy of you guys trying to pull... I feel like a lot of work has been done for you guys to separate yourself from this energy here, okay? And to continue on here, okay? Well, someone's pointing fingers at you. Someone um, is blaming you for whatever chaos is going on here. But there is a need of you guys understanding that you're not done on your path here. But there's a level of needing for you guys to focus here on um, overindulging in some type of toxic. I've been getting this, and I'm gonna. Go, I think I'm going to continue to get the toxic shit that some of you guys are indulging in. It does not behoove you. I guess I think if you guys, um, it, <clears throat> I feel like you guys feel the energy shift around inside of you when you are taking on certain things that you know you you need to have a balance in. It just doesn't feel right to the body or the mind anymore here. Okay. <sighs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, some, some of you guys may have an illusion up around certain things or just some type of um, false things. And this could be you doing this also or someone else doing this too. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who is um, who is addicted to um, alcohol here and, and is that... I, <sighs> They try to keep a balance here. They they they're the type of energy that can still work and do this and do that, but you it's just too much consuming of alcohol. I feel I feel like a spouse here. Maybe they get violent or vicious here, but there's new energy coming in. You need to stand up in your own fucking power here. And some of you guys may be pregnant or becoming pregnant when this um, separation ends up happening or has happened here. You may find out you're pregnant. Some of you guys um know that you're pregnant here but you may have been trying to avoid like even getting doing a pregnancy test here okay yeah someone is there is an energy around you here um it, this could be like i said romantically family wise however that's just is very very narcissistic that does, does not care about emotions like they, they don't put too much emotional emotional time into like communicating with you giving you what you need and everything there's a very unbalanced here of energy here there's a new path that i feel like a lot of you guys need to understand you need to be taking here um when it comes to this 
future relationship or this um, this relationship you guys may be dealing with um, in the current moment here, okay? There's a level of you need you being cruel to yourself or feeling like you um, you deserve this type of um, relationship or type of treatment here. And I feel like this person is cruel also to you here in a violent way when they either drink or... Um, um, because somebody's been stealing out of your uh your 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 account, your checking account, your savings account here. This is some type of relationship here. This person is getting more heavily into drinking. I'm seeing a lot of drinking going on with this energy here. And you may feel like a failure. This is you guys doing this here. A lot of sorrows, this energy. The very depressed energy is coming from separating from some type of um, chaos here. Okay, y'all need to get it together, Taurus. Okay, I may be talking to a lot of y'all in the for the future energy because I've been picking that up. Like, I'm it's just a lot of warning energy here. Do you suspect that someone has sent you and your loved ones the evil eye? Unexpected financial burdens, unexplainable mental blockages. Well, let evolving wisdom reverse this fucked up energy back to its sender and know. You don't need to know exactly who your enemies are. For more information on my reversal services, please go to EvolvingWisdom5.com. Let's get some more here. Yeah. Find a lot of, lot of blessings coming in for my Taurus here who have been putting in the work and just doing the manifesting here. Okay, the Empress. I really feel like a lot of you guys are balanced when it comes to... Um, your emotions and what you want are trying to get on that level. It's like a lot of my tours, especially my, I feel like my tours women here, you're really focused on balance here and just moving on and transforming your life into a whole new fucking world here. Um, there's a lot of newness coming in here, but there's a, something that needs to wake up the heart. I feel like that needs to, some of you guys are maybe just too focused on um, obtaining the material, material um, things of the world. Some of you guys, and not too focused on relationship here, but I feel like a lot of you guys can feel some shit coming towards your way here. Um, a lot of you guys have been blocking off a lot of relationship things here. There's victory here. I feel like there's a lot of people who want you guys' energy or want your attention here. Some people are intimidated and don't uh, have not just, they just looking, they just watching and things, but they're too intimidated by you to even speak or come um, bring forth that, hey, I like you. I want to get to know you some more here. There is a love energy coming in here. Um, that's going to sweep you off your feet here. Very artistic type of relationship here. You guys may bond very well here. Um, and uh, as far as friendship wise or relationship, however this is when, when it comes to a relationship, but there's a change that needs to happen also. I feel like some of you guys may be doing this already or are getting the feeling or there's energy pushing you towards Get into more of your health here and stand on track with that. I feel like with my Tauruses, it's imperative for you guys to get into your health as best way you can. I'm not saying you want to be perfect here, you know, but you guys do need to understand to research and to relearn um, the health benefits of just foods and um, the water that you drink and how to detox in here. Some of you guys may have stomach issues here um, with... Um, a lot of backed up, like being very backed up, not, um, you know, um, having bowel movements like you should here. There's just this, I feel a little level of back. There's some, some of you guys may be a little swollen um, at times, get swollen at times because there's a lot of detox here. Some of you, okay, see some of you women may have a lot of some acne going on with your skin here, okay, because of the back, the, the feces that you have backed up in your body here is toxins. It's toxins, toxins. So it's going to want to come out one way or another. Most of the time it comes out on your face and things of that here women y'all better get yourself together with y'all skin okay okay but i feel like you got some drinking more water lots of water lemon water um cayenne pepper you know i totally tell you that guys that mix that together how much cayenne pepper. i can stand a lot of cayenne pepper I love, i'm a spicy person <laughs> so a little spice or whatever but um turmeric here okay sometimes you may want to drink you some msm for the skin drink eat a, eat a lot of vitamin a beats things that help with the skin okay y'all see this glow okay let's see this glow no makeup but the lipstick okay i touch my face too much for uh makeup y'all i'll be like it'd be smeared everywhere i don't touch it like that but you know i do little things like that 
But you know, nevertheless, here I feel like you guys are getting on the routine, though. I feel like you guys maybe just getting out jogging for a little bit. You don't have to go all hardcore, fifty minutes, an hour, none of that. Just. 10 minutes, okay? Give yourself that here. With that comes a lot of success. The change that's coming in, the change that you're doing, the change of mind is not always what you are doing. It's the mental mind. A lot of you guys just on a new road of changing things, the way you view things, the way you view partnerships, and just I feel a big push towards I can do this type of energy. Like nothing's going to stop me. It's time for me to stop holding myself back and towards this. You can do that here. And sometimes that's it's not just the stubbornness come in, it's just the, the change here. We like our eyes dotted and our T's crossed here, but it always don't have to be that way. Sometimes you just need to go. Sometimes you just need to put the energy forward and say, fuck this. I need to go, okay? Like that Aquarius energy here, open to change and saying enough is enough here. And I'm also picking up like that Sagittarius energy here. It's crazy. I've been meeting a lot of Sagittarius women over the uh, past weeks here. Um beautiful women beautiful beautiful very motivating type of females they telling me i'm motivating them but they motivating me um but their energy is just to get up and just say you know what i don't want this right here i'm gonna do something different you know or i'm gonna re relocate i'm gonna redo this or it's just it's just motivating to see that it's like wow <laughs> you know just, you know you guys pay attention to though that though there's just something that needs to or you, I feel like you guys are doing this. Like, I'm going to do what I have to do. I'm not making up no more excuses here. You researching. A lot, a lot of wisdom is coming in. You guys, fourth eye has been open here. Okay, I don't people say third eye. But it's the fourth eye here, okay? Um, happiness is coming in towards you here. All you guys are healing yourself with victory. And what comes, what comes with that? It's victory. I do feel like there is some level of healing that is still going to be transpiring with you guys. And we're going to get into that um, in a minute here. Let's get into a little bit more here. Okay. <clears throat> what is going on here? Okay. Okay, let's... Okay, I'm keep though. I thought it was like five cards. I'm about to say, uh-uh. Okay, so you guys are focusing, focused here on your business. Here, or focus here. You got your eyes on something you want. It doesn't always have to be financially material. I really feel like it is. That I feel like material-wise, y'all going to some y'all looking at something and you're trying to manifest it here. Okay, you really, really got a lot of um visions here, and it's like you're on it. You're really on the You're really on this transformation here. It's like you're pouring. To me, it's almost like you're pouring into your own cup now. It's like you guys maybe have in the past have given out so much of yourself and so much of your energy here and towards, especially my towards women. We can be very motivating when it comes to our spouse or friendships here. We can be that way. But I feel like you guys are focused here on your money here and there's a relationship coming in. Like it's almost like you guys are getting a piece of the good stuff in life here. Okay, but there's a relationship also. Some of you guys are in it now here. And I, I, I <clears throat> excuse me here. <sighs> Someone wants to, there's like a childlike energy around this relationship here that's coming towards you or you guys are dealing with now. It's like an innocent energy coming in around it here, but there's something you guys may need, need to walk away or have walked away from this person. And this person just needs to evolve here or just grow up and see what the fuck they had in front of them, okay? Um, this is a new energy coming in. It's nothing wrong with giving a second chance to something that's worth it here. Um... If it's worth it, a second chance to that energy, but you know, I guess people got one time to to be undecisive. But I just feel like there's judgment coming in towards this energy. Some of you guys may need to walk away from this person. Walk away. May not be for you. Maybe something you just needed, something you needed to learn, or some energy you needed to evolve to kind of wake you up. Um, you wake up your heart chakra here, okay? But this is like a foolish or a, a magician type of energy coming in. It wasn't what you thought it was or it's not going to be what you think it is here, okay? There's some type of judgment that's coming in and it may be a tower moment of chaos coming in towards you guys. You pouring too much into... Some of you guys... Uh, so many different energies coming in here, okay? Some of you guys need to stop pouring so much into that person's um, cup. 
giving them all the good and giving them all the motivation and support and everything and focus more on your your family and yourself here there's just some level maybe unbalanced here a lot of you guys now have realized that here some of you guys have not and some of you guys realize hey i need to give to myself i need to do for me i need to put myself first here i am in this world i you know i I come into this world also for myself to evolve and to learn. And I feel like you guys are getting that here. A lot of success here when it comes to your money, your business here. A lot of just new endeavors coming in here, okay? Walking away from the bullshit. There's two magicians here. Also, make sure you guys are getting some rest, taking some time out. If you guys are going to be coming, or if you guys are coming from a toxic relationship, you may just need to take some time to just really focus more on yourself and just heal. Just get some rest here and go to a spot if you can here. Um, you know, recharge. Do you, boo? It's time for you guys to really. It's a brand new year for you guys, like a really in good energy, I feel like, for a lot of my sources that are coming in through. Coming through for 2021 with their, their, their big girl hat on or their big man hat on, okay? They said they want you to be grateful. You got you have a lot to celebrate here. They want you to be grateful. Count your blessings here. There's so many people going out, going, um, having a lot, a lot of terrible times right now um, in their reality, in their world here. Um, a lot of tower moments is, is you know going on right now for a lot of people. And I'm talking about the people who are being evicted, having no food and things of that sort here. Okay. They want you to say um, there's a deep feeling of peace and happiness here. That's even that's either coming. Over over you guys here or that is with you all now here okay once you some of you guys need to release something still here <clears throat> they want you to plan your steps to the um with the eye to the long term here, there's a new justice in coming in. Some of you guys may be just in a lot of pain or just being just hurt right now because of the situation at hand here. But there's just a level of justice to coming in for you, for you to start a new leaf here. Some of you guys just getting justice from just the bullshit in 2020 and 2019 here. And now it's a whole new you coming in. There is a lot of beautiful energy coming in for a lot of my Tauruses here who have did the work here. True love that is long lasting choices made here. For some of you guys i don't really feel like there i feel like i'm talking to a different set of my um tauruses here some of you guys may be dealing with the gemini also too here or you have it in your chart here but there's some level of um a romance coming in that is nobody's going to be perfect here i'm not talking about the big shit like you know this motherfucker ain't got no job this motherfucker is codependent need a lot of healing you know what i mean just not evolved or whatever i'm not talking about that but i'm saying there's just maybe there's nothing going to be perfect about about um your significant other or friendships or however that is here i just feel like you guys <clears throat> there may be some time where you guys may separate but i feel like there may be another comeback around with this person is this newer energy here i don't not talking about nobody from six seven years ago who you were with for a long time and got children with and they try to i'm not talking about i'm talking about someone maybe most recently within the last six months or maybe a, a deep part and whatever, but this person needed to get their energies together, get their fucking mind right, and realize who you were, Taurus, okay? You are not about that, okay? But there's positive changes are on their way, Taurus. What, was I, what am I saying to you guys? I'm telling you, a walk and relief of troubled times, you guys. A lot of you guys have been doing the fucking thing here. It's time to go after your damn dreams. It's time to go after what you want in life here, Taurus, okay? I feel like I'm talking to a lot of my Tauruses who know that here. But they're, they want you to use logic here. Structure to increase your success here. Get organized and firm that and a firm but compassionate leader here. Get your ass organized. Get yourself together here. Write down your notes. Don't try to rush into anything here. Um, make sure you you know you you got your stuff stuff together. It makes you I know what Taurus is. It makes us feel better when we got our stuff together here. Uh, I'm not talking about um, my Taurus women and men who like per very perfectionist type of energy. Don't pick at everything, okay? I have to say it because I'm like that. I, I could sit there and not get a project going because I'm picking apart every single thing. And it's just like, you can't do that, <laughs> okay? You never get it done, okay? But it says childhood. It says some re return of, what did I say? The return of romance. It seems like romance is coming back in a lot of my Taurus's lives here. And it seems like there's someone coming back around. And I'm not talking about someone coming back around because I don't, 
believe in going back far. Like giving someone a chance one or two, three times for it and they still fucking up, it's done, it's over with, it's done. I'm talking about something more newer, fresher energies. I feel like someone is coming back like, damn, you know, Taurus was right. You know, I am emotionally blocked off or I didn't give that person that much. You know, I feel like they really have been thinking, they had time to think because you wouldn't put that much energy into their ass limo. Okay, okay, but it says the good you do comes back to you here. A windfall of money is coming in for my, my Taurus, my booze, okay, my booze. Okay, open your heart. Love is is on the way. It's all talking about this new love. Okay, a re relationship. I can't look. It's all about relationship this year alone, you guys. And I don't want you guys to be fearful of relationships in, in, in any kind. Don't does relationship does not always have to be romantically, y'all. Relationships can be just letting people in. Period. Okay. Period. So we got Tauruses. I know I've been talking to some of y'all. Some of y'all, man, I swear I'm talking to my twin. Okay, it's like Taurus. We can't do that. We can't let, we can't do that. Okay, let me see. What am I trying to get off into here with y'all? Let me get some healing messages and then we're going to end. You guys, stay tuned for the mid-month preview reading, okay? And then the extended, actually. Okay, that will be coming up very soon here. Then we'll get into your astrological and a little more deeper into um, January's month and the months to come. Okay, rejection. Some of you guys are afraid of rejection. Taurus, what was I saying? What was I saying? And I'm not talking about just real romantically. I'm not talking about some of you guys are just afraid to let people into your life. So, yeah, I feel like I'm speaking to some older Tauruses. And I don't mean older in like age. I mean wise. I mean, because you can be, trust me, I have met 19 year olds who are, I, I forget that they're even freaking 19. They're so mature. So mature. You know? So that is, I'm talking about older and, and wisdom here. Okay? Rejection. Afraid of rejection here. Somebody wants you. Somebody wants to attach themselves. But I feel like there is, like I said, I feel like there's some old lingering ass motherfucking energy. Somebody's sitting there watching you, peeking through the window. <laughs> so let them watch. Let them do them thing. Let them do they think or whatever. But I do feel like there's someone who's really been watching, who loves you, who wants your attention here. Okay, but you're afraid of um, rejection or you're afraid of giving over that energy here. Okay. <clears throat> A lot of cycles, um, Indy. I feel like you guys are, there was a lot of cycles of rejection or there was a lot of cycles of just pain and hurt. We all have been through some type of betrayal or giving over too much. We're humans. That's, that's humans usually go through those things here. But you guys need to let go. Let go of that dark shit in the past. Is That is not who you are now. You are a totally different energy. Your four eyes are open here. Okay? Your four eyes are open here. Okay? And I say four eyes because in the hoodoo tradition, they didn't call it third eye. Then the third eye is a more of a um, new world type of shit or a new age type of shit. Like that twin flames and certain or a lot of the terminology they're using. A lot of the stuff was made up. But the four, it was always the four eyes. Or you have four eyes. Your four eyes are open here. Okay? You let go of the past and the spirit not bringing you those type of fuck boys and fuck women or fuck men as friendships here. Because women can be friends with men too. I didn't have some fucked up um, friendships for masculine energy here. Okay? So, you guys, be open to that. Let go. Let go of those demons here. Let go of that person, you know. I don't feel like you're holding on to these people like, oh, I want them back in my life. I feel like you just, you're, every time something comes up with a new inner, new person coming in, and there's a re, a, a thought that may come come up like, don't let them get too close or they may do this. Like, you you know, Taurus says we can do that. We can do that. We'll be very much in our head. We may not voice it out, but we we think <laughs> we we really be up up on it, but you guys don't don't. I don't feel like a lot of you guys need to let this go. You need to have what did I say? What am I saying to you guys? What have faith? Have faith? Have faith that 
that you are deserving of just good people to come in your life. Your new family, don't don't reject your soul ties. I mean, I'm sorry, not your soul ties, but your, your family ties here. Because your family does not always have to be people you were born into. It can be your soul energy, your soul family coming, trying to come in towards you here. And if you're rejecting the, these people, um, and, you know, it's kind of like rejecting blessings. So you like you like it's like you're telling the universe like I don't want that blessing here because I'm afraid because this person you know in college did this to me and you know you, you can't do that you gotta really have patience and just <clears throat> be there okay don't sell your soul self out here I feel like there's a relationship coming in with some some of you guys here that this person is going to be tied to someone else here and then there's going to be a very very emotional draw and pull to this person here that's supposed to be but I feel like there's a big life there's a light lesson here even if you stay or you don't go it's your choice here there's a big life lesson that I feel like a lot of you guys need to um to experience here and it's okay okay it's okay you excuse me whatever it is you guys will bounce back um from it okay Taurus. i really hope you guys got what you needed from that reading please like share and subscribe Taurus. and please you guys stay tuned for the um extended video this um Taurus video mid read in here all right all right Taurus. this is evolving wisdom and yes i'm here and i'm still evolving